you are looking for an easy summertime dessert, it could also be breakfast, um, all you're gonna need are three ingredients. Cinnamon rolls, heavy whipping cream, and your favorite pie filling. In a greased baking dish, you're gonna cut up your cinnamon rolls. Once that's cut up, you're gonna mix in your favorite pie filling. You could bake it like this, I've done that before and that's very good, but I'm gonna add some heavy whipping cream just to thicken it up a little bit. Trust the process here, you guys. You're gonna bake this at 375 for 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, when you're done, you're gonna sprinkle or drizzle on your uh, icing that comes with the cinnamon rolls. You guys, this is so freaking good. Do not let the presentation fool you. This is amazing. Ha! Oh! All right, y'all, today we're gonna to be making some quick, cheap and easy Southern chess bars. Now, this is a less complicated uh, recipe than the strawberry cake. A lot of you all were like, the strawberry cake didn't turn out whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, I don't know what you did wrong. Y'all kept asking what you did. I don't know what you did wrong, but for the rest of everyone who loved the strawberry cake recipe and it turned out perfect, I'm glad you liked it. So, if you had issues with the strawberry cake recipe, this is gonna be like, down scale of like super duper easy can't mess this up gotta make it okay this will still make your friends okay or have somebody fall in love with you you like my southern chest bars babe yeah okay all right y'all here we go first things first we're gonna start off with a box of cake mix i have one that i did in funfetti yellow cake mix is ideal all right then you're gonna take one stick of unsalted butter we're gonna get this melted down go ahead and get our butter in there one fourth of a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract and one egg now you're just gonna mix it up all right once you mix it up and you got a little dough you're gonna take some m and about one cup and you're just gonna fold this in okay all right so you get out a nine by 13 you just put your dough in it take your dough and press it down your nine by 13. okay we got this pressed down now we're gonna focus on our icing all right, since I'm making two different kinds, I just want to show you all. That's the yellow cake mix, and this is the funfetti cake mix. All right, we're just going to use the same bowl. We're going to make our icing. All right, we're going to start with one block of cream cheese. We're going to add two eggs, one-fourth of a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, and we're going to mix. All right, we have one pound of powdered sugar. We're going to add this little by little, okay, like a fourth of a cup and mix fourth of a cup and mix don't pour this whole bag in there and try to mix it okay don't do it then you're gonna be coming back well i don't know what i did wrong with your recipe no a fourth cup mix fourth cup mix until it's all mixed in there okay okay oh it's so pretty all right you're gonna take this mix and you're literally just gonna pour it all on top of that dough okay, okay. All right, so I got my chest bars ready to be put in the oven. We're gonna put these in the oven on 300 and we're gonna cook them for 50 to 60 minutes. All right, so about an hour. And here they are looking perfect. Now, personally, I'm just gonna take these dishes tonight and tomorrow night to where I'm going. I got two different 4th of July parties I've been invited to. I'm gonna take my little spatula and just let everyone kind of just cut their own little bars out, okay? Quick, cheap, easy, simple. You can't mess it up, all right? If you try it, let me know. And remember, I love y'all. Happy 4th of July. Today we're making a one cup Oreo cheesecake and it's so easy to make. It only takes four ingredients. Mmm, that is ridiculously delicious. First, we're gonna take three Oreos and place them into a bag. Then we're gonna add in two teaspoons of butter. Grab any cup that you have and gently press down on the Oreo to create a crust. Now we're gonna pop this in the fridge while we make the cheesecake. We're gonna mix together seven tablespoons of cream cheese, two tablespoons of powdered sugar, and some crushed up Oreos. Now we're gonna place this in the fridge for one hour. And there you have it, one cup Oreo cheesecake. All right, y'all, today we're gonna to be making some quick, cheap and easy Southern chest bars. Now, this is a less complicated uh, recipe than the strawberry cake. A lot of you all were like, the strawberry cake didn't turn out whoop, 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 whoop. 
Okay, I don't know what you did wrong. Y'all kept asking what you did. I don't know what you did wrong. But for the rest of everyone who loved the strawberry cake recipe and it turned out perfect, I'm glad you liked it. So, if you had issues with the strawberry cake recipe, this is going to be like downscale of like super duper easy. Can't mess this up. Got to make it, okay? This will still make you friends, okay? Or have somebody fall in love with you. You like my southern chest bars, babe? Yeah. Okay. All right, y'all. Here we go. First things first, we're going to start off with a box of cake mix. I have one that I did in Funfetti. Yellow cake mix is ideal. All right, then you're going to take one stick of unsalted butter. We're going to get this melted down. Go ahead and get our butter in there. One-fourth of a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. And one egg. Now you're just going to mix it up. All right, once you mix it up and you got a little dough, you're going to take some m and about one cup, and you're just going to fold this in, okay? All right, so you get out a 9 by 13, you just put your dough in it. Take your dough and press it down to 9 by 13. Okay, we got this pressed down. Now we're going to focus on our icing. All right, since I'm making two different kinds, I just want to show you all. That's the yellow cake mix, and this is the funfetti cake mix. All right, we're just going to use the same bowl. We're going to make our icing. All right, we're going to start with one block of cream cheese. We're going to add two eggs. One-fourth of a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. And we're going to mix. All right, we have one pound of powdered sugar. We're going to add this little by little, okay? Like a fourth of a cup and mix. Fourth of a cup and mix. Don't pour this whole bag in there and try to mix it, okay? Don't do it. Then you're going to be coming back. Why well, I don't know what I did wrong with your recipe. No. A fourth cup mix. Fourth cup mix until it's all mixed in there. Okay? Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, you're going to take this mix, and you're literally just going to pour it all on top of that dough, okay? okay? All right, so I got my chest bars ready to be put in the oven. We're going to put these in the oven on 300, and we're going to cook them for 50 to 60 minutes. All right, so about an hour. And here they are, looking perfect. Now, personally, I'm just going to take these dishes tonight and tomorrow night to where I'm going. I got two different Fourth of July parties I've been invited to. I'm going to take my little spatula and just let everyone kind of just cut their own little bars out, okay? Quick, cheap, easy, simple. You can't mess it up, all right? If you try it, let me know. And remember, I love y'all. Happy Fourth of July. Let me put y'all on some my low-calorie strawberry shortcake. These are literally your ingredients. Three simple ingredients. You can get the light one. They didn't have the light one when I just went to the store, so I had to get the regular, but... You can get light if you just feel better. It's only like five calories more, so. Now the rice cakes is 50 calories. This is 25 calories per two tablespoons. Probably won't even use all of that. And I don't know how much these little strawberries is, but I doubt they're anything. Literally gonna scoop your what's the name on and spread it out. And then you wanna place your strawberries on there. literally like 80 calorie fucking strawberry shortcake dessert and i also have my cool whip in the freezer because i like it to be like cold mm. another super easy recipe okay okay you need instant chocolate pudding mix a large one of these light whip topping things like it has to be light okay and obviously somewhat room temperature like that, okay? Mix it so it looks like this, like still thick. Crush up some Oreos and then add it in. Then you're just gonna get a pan and you're gonna put like big scoops like this into there. Leave it in the freezer for an hour or two. Done. Peel it off. It's so good. Oh man, this is so good. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Okay, try it. Super easy. I'm sorry. And if you don't put the Oreos, <laughs> it's um it's like a low fat, right? Or low calorie dessert. Especially because summer's coming up. So like, get to it. Hey, for most of you who don't know, I like to do reviews out here in Arizona on restaurants. I kind of just started, but like most people, I gotta work. And I work at the firehouse, so I'm making dessert for the guys. I'm gonna let you see what kind of dessert I'm making for them. All right, so you're gonna need one eight ounce container of whipped topping, two Yoplait yogurts, I chose blueberry flavor, one graham cracker crust that's already made up for you, and then I bought blueberry pie filling, 
All right, put your Cool Whip in the bowl. Now throw your two yogurts in there. Make sure that your Cool Whip is soft also. All right, if you guys get it mixed up, just put it in your graham cracker crust and it's gonna go into the freezer. All right, so it's frozen and now we're gonna go ahead and add the blueberry pie filling. All right, the pie should look like this when you're all done. So now we're gonna go ahead and put it right back into the freezer. All right, take it out of the freezer and let it thaw just for a couple minutes. There you have it, easy mango sorbet. The way you make this is get some frozen mangoes, squeeze some lime in there, get some coconut water, pour in about 100 ml, drizzle some maple syrup in, and then blend it until it's smooth. Pour it into a tray, smooth it out with a spatula. All that's left to do is whack it in the freezer for a couple of hours and Someone tell me if this is a thing. My sister and I used to come home from middle school and we would make this treat and we called it zebra droppings. No idea why we called it that. It's two ingredients, chocolate and peanut butter. And you take a spoon, dip it in the peanut butter, put it in the freezer for just a few minutes. Then take chocolate chips, put in a quarter cup. Okay, now microwave this. Are you ready? You literally just dip it in. Decorate them like this. And then you literally, you just eat this. It's so good. Easy dessert under $2. Evaporated milk and jello, any jello of your preference. Freeze your evaporated milk for an hour, boil some water for the jello. Mix the boiling water and jello. Once completely mixed, let it sit for 15 minutes. Get your frozen evaporated milk and mix. Are you lazy but love food? Well, I got the perfect recipe for you. Let's make three ingredient crepes. One cup flour. One and a quarter cups of milk. Two eggs. Whisk it together. How easy was that? To go above and beyond, add vanilla. Add batter to a pan. Make sure it's nice and thin. Flip. Mmm. Wee oui, wee. Oui. So easy. To assemble, take a crepe. Fold. Drizzle on Nutella. Yum. Add strawberry slices. Fold again. That is the easiest, most delicious crepe you'll ever find. Powdered sugar. More Nutella. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my god. You have to try this. Poor man's kung fu. Dollar Tree Edition. Hawaiian punch drink mix. Some whip. Sweet and condensed crema. Grams. And some butter. Treat these crackers like they're in trouble. I don't have a chancla, but I have a crackla. I did it because I love you. Add your melted butter. Press them into your chili dip pan. Like so. Refrigerate for 30 minutes. In a bowl, add your sweetened condensed kind of milk. Add a couple of those packs and mix and mix. Fold in the Cool Whip, David. I go ploppy ploppy. I baked you a pie. Oh boy, what flavor. Pie, pie, pie. Refrigerate for a few hours till it sets. And let's cut a slice. What do you think? That's pretty dang good. Have you ever tried making a homemade fudge? You're not gonna believe this, but it only took two ingredients. I used my no sugar added chocolate chips and some almond butter. I mixed it together until there were no clumps. I put it into my baking dish that I lined with parchment paper, topped it with chocolate chips and some almonds. I set it in the fridge for at least an hour. Guys, this is the perfect treat. It's clean ingredients, easy to make and delicious. Crunchy candied strawberries. There's nothing better than these for summer. Also known as the Chinese street food tang ulu. They come together super quick, so let me show you how. Into a saucepan, one cup of sugar, half a cup of water. Do not stir it. Place this on a stove on a medium to high heat, and we want to get it to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Once you reach that temperature, pull it off the heat, and now we're going to start dipping our strawberries. And then this is optional, but I like to dip mine into a glass of ice water. It just helps the candy set even faster. Also, be very, very careful. I recommend you use a very long skewer. I didn't have any, so I used toothpicks, but be careful not to burn your fingers. If you don't like strawberries, you can basically do this with any fruit. So let me know if you guys try it. Let's make the easiest dessert ever. Three ingredients, Oreo fudge, one bag of white chocolate chips, one can of sweetened condensed milk, stir, Oreos, 
chop. Microwave in 30 second increments. After 30 seconds, after two minutes. Golden Oreos. Oh my God. Wow. Pour into grease tray. Top with Oreos. Chill. Slice. And there you have the most easy, delicious Oreo fudge. So good. All right, y'all, we're making a banana pulled cake. Very simple. You're just going to get a uh, vanilla cake mix, and you're going to do the ingredients on here. But instead of uh, water, I'm using milk. So I got three eggs, a cup of milk, and a half a cup of cooking oil. And we're going to do a little splash of some banana extract. And I just going to mix it all up. Make sure you grease your pan up. We're just gonna pour it in the pan. So now we're gonna throw this in the oven for about 30 minutes on 350. So I'm making extra pudding for something else, but I'm using two small boxes of the banana cream pudding and one big box of the vanilla pudding. All right, we're gonna do six cups of some 2% milk. Now we're gonna add just a little bit of sweetened condensed milk. And now you wanna mix up the condensed milk in here. So while that's sitting for a couple of minutes, we're gonna poke some oils in here. You want your pudding kind of, you know, loose so it can like seep into the cake. All right, now we're going to cut up some bananas. Got the bananas and cookies on there. Now you're going to want to put some more pudding on top. Now you're going to throw this messy shit in the refrigerator. So eat it later tonight or tomorrow. Baby. Look at that. Give me a second piece. <laughs> 